it's Ty Bug. Happy New Year! And this video is about my first time doing modern dance at 20. Yes, I am 20. I'm kind of old. I'm, I'm old now. So modern dance was kind of hard to adjust to after doing ballet. So I did my modern dance two semesters after I start, first started ballet because I do it at my local community college. So it's like by the semesters. And I got really lucky. I had a really good class and everyone was really helpful, but they were really experienced because they did it in high school. And this was my first time doing modern dance, but I liked it a lot. Compared to ballet, modern dance is a lot more fluid. I mean, how do I describe this? It's a lot more like the rules aren't as strict. Like, you know, in ballet, you got to be turned out. You got to have first, second, third, fourth. Everything goes through those motions. Modern dance, it's kind of like do whatever you want as long as it's beautiful or it means something. Um, my teacher taught us mostly the Martha Graham way. Um, to be honest, I don't really know what the Martha Graham way is, but I assume that what we learned is the Martha Graham way. Anyways, this is my first time doing modern dance. I have a couple of clips from my class doing it, and then I have a final performance. But my final performance is to a copyrighted song, so I'm going to block out the audio for that, and then I'll post a separate video with it with the actual audio. Because... I want this video to get monetized eventually. Thank you for your support. Okay, so the first video is a couple of months into um, Modern Dance. I think it's like my first month in. And at this point, my ankle was already giving out on me. I mentioned this in my uh, ballet video that I posted previously. But yes, I hurt my ankle, my left ankle. It was locking up on me, doing some weird stuff. I don't know what, but it's getting fixed. And you can kind of see the tape I have on my leg for here. And just ignore my classmates. I'll be blurring out their faces so you won't know who they are. But this was a practice thing we did in class with sparkles and waltzing. And my teacher is instructing one, two, 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 three. Sparkle! Sparkle! Turn, turn attitude. I love sparkles. Sparkles. So this is my first time doing sparkles and when I was watching this video messed me up So when I was watching this video, I was like, oh, I'm not pointing my toes when I go up Like my back foot is sparkled pointed, but then my front foot is kind of like kind of floppy still So I was like, oh, I should try it with my front foot pointed So when I tried it again, I forgot to unpoint my front foot when I was coming down and The toe right next to my big toe just went <laughs> can't believe I did that. And I thought I broke it. It got so swollen and black and blue and I was like, it's broken. I like taped it to my other toe and stuff and I was like, turns out it was just jammed really, really bad and it was like swollen to the size of my big toe, but I kept dancing on it because that's what us dancers do. Okay, um, okay, next video is a uh, video that we put together with a partner because we were practicing choreography because our final piece was gonna be half our teacher's choreography and then half our own choreography so this is my friend victoria hi if you're watching and we choreographed this piece together and this was like our second time doing it so our timing was a little off and the first one was supposed to be uh so the moves were like giving to us in sections and the first one was supposed to be like off timing I forgot the technical term for it and then my memory is failing me I don't know but just watch it just me counting PK PK sunrise a stag jump roll down stag. I'm just giggling my butt off. That was a good kick though. And then that's the end. It was just a quick little practice in choreography. But then we had to change it and put a motif behind it. And this was on the day of Halloween, hence why I'm dressed as a butterfly. Hey, link to my butterfly video, makeup video. Yeah, 
link to my butterfly makeup video somewhere at the top. I don't know which way it'll be now. Anyways, this was on Halloween and our motif was supposed to be fighting, but we kind of messed up a little bit because we'd only practice it like once before presenting to the class. But anyways, this is it and we don't have music to it. So I think I start humming. I don't remember, but watch. And then I throw her arm off and then she falls because of that. Oh, that was a kind of good stag. And that was a horrible turn. Turning without shoes, um, like ballet shoes or um, turning shoes is hard, okay? This was so fun doing it with the ballet, I mean what? <laughs> doing it with the butterfly wings. Then here I come, and she was supposed to go down there, so I wouldn't have been that close to her face, but she forgot. And then I got a little bit mad, but not too mad. I was like, oh my god, I almost kicked you mad. And then she, <laughs> she recovered <laughs> and went back. And I wait for her because I don't want to rush her. I don't know what that's called either. The thing I like about modern dance is I never knew what anything was called and I just did it because it looked pretty. Another sparkle because I love the sparkles and then... And this was so cool when I did it because I'm a martial artist so that was back to my roots. And then finishing move. That was kind of embarrassing, but you know, sometimes dance is. Okay, and then now for my final piece. So we practiced this a couple of times. We practiced this a lot for like a couple of months, but then I went on a trip for Thanksgiving, so then I had to practice and choreograph it on my own without a dance floor or anyone to help me. And what I ended up doing was just choreographing everything in my head and not practicing it at all until the final piece. So this is what the result was, if I can find it. There we go. I don't know why, but I was a lot more nervous to do this piece than when I was when I first started ballet and doing those pieces. Was I think it was because it was my own work more. I don't know. And there was a lot more people in this class too, but I got really nervous to start off with. So that's why I was like holding my chest. And I'm gonna put the headphones on now since this will be the copyrighted music. It is Sam Smith's Fire on Fire. And then I'm in fifth position to start off with because I didn't know what else to do. Oh, and on my ankle, I had a new thing because in the previous, um, in my ballet videos and in the previous uh, modern dance videos, I had it wrapped with like a restricting tape and this is like a band you use on your knee but it's on my ankle so that helped a lot more anyways back to the dance oh I got so mad on that turn because I was like I can do two turns I know how to do it but I just didn't work out that time and you know that's what happens turns are difficult and sometimes they don't work out <laughs> I got really impressed when I was looking back at this on my extension for that back leg, like, okay. And then the roll. And then I got my timing also, I was like, okay, I gotta slow down. There's a lot of contractions in, not contractions in modern dance. And then this turn always messed me up. I fell out of it there. But I, I recover with a smile. Look at that leg. But, oh, unstable. One day. Imagine how powerful I'll be. Deep breath. Better turn. Sparkle! <laughs> My arm went. <laughs> I have no explanation. <laughs> that turn was hard, a uh, jump turn. 
because both feet had to be off the ground and you're like, no thanks. But when I see my classmates do it right, it's like, and then this is when my choreography starts with this move. But when I got to my own, chore my own choreography, it was kind of nice because then I was like, nobody's going to know if I mess up because it's all my own. Also, I took a lot from my uh, the Gamazetti variation that I was doing in my ballet class. So if you saw that ballet video, you'll recognize some of my, my movements. <laughs> Ooh, that was a that was a bad uh, jeté. And then unfurl me. I was so proud of this role. I was like, that's cool. From Gamma Zeddy too. And then I like ride up by my teacher. I'm like, hi. <laughs> oh. That was supposed to be a, I don't know what it was, but it's like a, you kick one leg and the other leg goes over, and my arm did that thing again. It, it, it would be pretty if somebody else did it. I have a good creative choreographic mind. I just don't have the skills yet. Okay, keep going. And then here's another Gamazetti. <laughs> and then I had to improvise here because I'm like, uh-oh, I still have time. But I kept going. Yes, control. Yes, splits. <laughs> and that was it. Oh, I, 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 I liked it a lot. I, I, I'm excited. I'm excited to do more modern dance and ballet. The two together kind of mesh well, but I mentioned it in my ballet video that it was kind of hard going back and forth with the um, turning in and turning out aspect of it because in modern dance it's okay to turn in but then in uh, ballet it is not acceptable so that was a little bit hard and then I went into an accent there sorry um, but yeah that was fun if you guys are considering going into modern dance or just starting dancing in general and you're of an older age not gonna mention any age because you can start at any age that is my promise there will always be people starting dance or starting new activities and you can start at any age and you may feel alone but I'm here for you you can contact me on my Twitter my Instagram and my comment just what is it my comment is down below <laughs> I will always here to talk to you guys and I'm so proud of you if you're thinking about starting dance I was not the oldest in my dance class, and I was not the youngest either. This was at my local community college. I don't remember if I mentioned that, but dancing is so much fun. It's such a good way to express yourself, and even if you're injured, there are ways to work around it. I would recommend not working around it and taking a break, but there are some of us who don't. Anyways. That is all I have for you guys today. I will post it with the actual music in a different video because that one's going to get demonetized. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you are considering taking a dance class in the near future or getting started with dance. It would be the best joy of your life. And send me your videos if you want to. I would love to watch it. So yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week or the week after. Love you. Bye.